anxious, stressed out, overwhelmed by pressure and demands of life? Do you have trouble sleeping? Are you bored in your relationships? Do you feel like you're not able to experience that initial spark, that intimacy that once you used to have with your partner? Do you want to relax into the uncertainty of the pandemic? Do you want to improve yourself in the world around you? Do you? Well, my friends, I certainly have the tool. Well, meditation is the tool that can help. And I'm Ashita Shekhar and I'm so happy today to invite you to join me for the seven-day meditation experience with me. Yes. Now, in this seven-day program, what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to meditate and lead you in a guided mindfulness and mantra meditations that will help you let go of accumulative stress worry and so that you can experience your natural state of balance and well-being meditation relieves pain better than morphine yes a month ago i got burned and the burn was the two and third degree burns that i've had and of course the pain was intense really intense and you know guys it all happened during the coronavirus situation when we all were supposed to be in a lockdown so long story short i was rushed to the emergency i had 10 doctors and assistant doctors all around me it was the real test of my strength and my ability to maintain my magnanimity in, in, in that such painful and challenging situation. And I still remember that while one of the doctors, you know, was treating my peeled off skin. So my skin was totally peeled off. Yes, this entire skin. I, I, I guess you can still see the scarring. You see, yeah. So it was all totally, totally peeled off. So. When one of the doctors was treating my peeled off skin um, and was doing his job really seriously and you know what I was doing I was inquiring about the tattoos from one of the assistant doctors and she she had a beautiful tattoo on her hand and I joked and said if my scars won't go away I'm gonna, gonna get the same tattoo on my hand well she may have thought that I might just me losing my mind in pain but that was just me my way of distracting my mind from the pain and focus on something interesting and beautiful i was advised by my doctors to take morphine at night for the pain and uh, i was told that it's going to take almost a week for the pain to go away completely that night I thought either I can numb myself and sleep away the pain temporarily or next option is to observe the pain, feel each and every sensation and gradually emerge from the suffering. Of course, being a long time meditator, I made a decision to choose a second option. That night I meditated for almost five hours and throughout that time I observed the pain. I felt each and every sensation. Usually well, we want to focus away from the pain and and that does work in some cases But in my case what I did I brought my awareness back to pain I went into that dark hole coming to terms with the pain Addressing it affirming it my pain is going away. I'm completely healed my pain is going away and I'm completely healed Well, but often after almost five hours of meditation, I was able to overcome the pain. I slept so peacefully after that, so peacefully, like a child. My doctors were surprised to know, as it was expected that I'll continue to experience the pain for a week. If not for a week, at least for four to five days, but I was able to overcome it in a day. Now, it may sound like a miracle, but there are scientific facts that prove how meditation helps in reducing the pain. The researchers found that 
meditation reduces the pain by activate activating that you know your um, orbital frontal cortex and anterior cingulate cortex and these brain areas are associated with the self-control of pain meditation also deactivates the thalamus which acts as a type of gateway to determine which sensory information is allowed to reach higher brain centers so now coming back to my experience guys i am i am a living proof that meditation releases pain better than morphine when i first decided to meditate it was a time in my life when i was in a deep state of depression after losing my dad to cancer i was anxious i was worried i was sleeping poorly i was working 18 hours a day so on one hand i was really fed up with my life but on the other hand an optimistic fiber in me really wanted my life to get back on track and i still remember the day when i was in that depressive state of mind i demanded answers of my questions from the universe and i heard a voice say meditate i looked around and found no one I seriously thought I was losing my mind and I immediately chalked it up to some woo woo crap but but that wave of energy was so strong that I could not ignore the calling whatever you want to call it my inner voice my higher self talking to me my you know my source talking to me whatever makes sense to you but for me on that day uh, that wave of energy was so strong I could not ignore the calling. So next day, I picked up one of the guided meditations from YouTube, and and I did that. It was probably just twenty minutes long, and I felt so much peace, so much bliss that I really wanted to do it again. And yes, 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 I do believe that it requires consistent amount of. a foot and will power to be regular with meditation practice you, you know what happens is sometimes we do get so trapped in a ego mind that tells us hey you do not have time to meditate and this is one of the most common excuses i hear from people i don't have time to meditate sorry i don't believe it i don't buy it and the reason why i can say that so strongly because of being there have done that and i use that same excuse several times but you know what if you have time to breathe you have time to meditate okay try this exercise during one week take note of all the unproductive time that you spend in front of in front of a screen or tv or smartphone or tablet or any other social media channels now set aside 20% of that time for meditation and you'll be all right. Well, there are busy executives who have not missed a meditation in years. Let me give you some examples. Oprah Winfrey, billionaire entrepreneur, media proprietor, actress and philanthropist. Jeff Weiner, CEO of LinkedIn. William Clay Ford, junior executive chairman of Ford Motor Company. Mark Benioff, chairman and CEO of Salesforce. Ariana Huffington, co-founder of Huffington Post and Thrive Global. Katy Perry, singer and TV personality. Madonna, singer and actress. Sir Paul McCartney, singer, songwriter, world smith, American actor and rapper. Bill Gates, American business magnate, software developer, investor and philanthropist. Well, if meditation can become a priority in their lives, you will find time for it too. And you can start with as little as 1 to 3 minutes a day some people even find that after they start meditating they have time in their lives they have more time in their lives suddenly they gain clarity on what's really important and they stop spending time on things that don't really serve them and one and one thing that i can really assure you of anyone can learn to meditate anyone And this is such a wonderful news because meditation offers profound 
benefits of physical health, mental health and emotional well-being with the more, what more you can ask for. So apart from reducing stress and pain from your life, meditation can have miraculous effects in improving your relationship, reversing your body age, reducing blood pressure, improving productivity, it makes you super focused increases memory, improves its attention. Now, when the body is in fight or flight mode, your mental capacity decreases. So what meditation is does is it, it reduces stress and allows you to perform at the top of your game. It helps in migraines. It helps relieve the intensity, the frequency, and the duration of migraines. It improves your intimacy. It improves your fertility. Now, for me, meditation really helped quieten quieten the chaos that was in my mind and it helped me raise my vibration that in turn helped me manifest things faster in my life. I suddenly found that I was surrounded by beauty, by wealth, by an abundance of joy. Now, don't get me wrong, it didn't happen overnight, it took a couple of years. But as my mental outlook improved, my real world results changed, my business improved. And before long, I found my personal and my professional life back on track and my confidence along with it. Now financially things improved and my social skills began to re return. My life turned around almost completely. And it's not all bed and roses. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Meditation is not gonna take away all your challenges. It may bring all stress up and out, but, but, while your depression and stress lurk in the background and pops up occasionally, you'll have tools, you'll have tools to manage it. And I'm going to be there with you at every step of the way, reminding you that you deserve the best version of you. So with this seven day meditation program, you can meditate anytime, anywhere. You do not need any you do not need any previous experience or expensive equipment or time-consuming classes to receive the seven-day meditation. All you need is just 20 minutes a day. And as you complete the program, you'll feel lighter, you'll feel inspired, enjoy the sense of fulfillment that comes from learning something new and valuable in supporting and welcoming setting. Now, this seven-day meditation experience will help you establish your daily meditation practice that's going to benefit you in years to come. I invite you, I invite you to meditate with me in this online seven day meditation challenge. All you have to do is register online. I'm so looking forward, I'm so looking forward to having you on board. See you all soon.